home. And, and, and I pray that uh, home for all of us and most of us is, is to be with uh, our Heavenly Father. And the words say that, that in order to get there, we must be born again. So today as we come, we want you to uh, celebrate uh, Robert's life, but we also want you to hear a word from the preacher that will be good for your soul. And we God bless you today. And we thank you and we honor you today. And thank you for allow, allowing us to, to be a part of your homegoing celebration. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. It's good to be here today. Amen. amen. We're here today celebrating the life of Mr. Robert Lewis Cooper. Sunrise, May the 3rd, 1958. Sunset, February the 7th, 2021. And I'm Reverend Jacqueline Sims. And the family has so graciously given us an order of service. Amen. 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 And we just thank God for this beautiful day. And we give him honor, we give him glory, and we give God praise. Walk with me, Lord, Lord, walk with me. Walk with me, Lord, Lord, walk with me. Oh, while I'm on this, Lord, the sea just journey. Saying I want Jesus just to walk with me. Hold my hand, Lord, Lord, hold my hand. Hold my Father God, it's again that we come today saying thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for our life, health, and strength. Thank you for our last night's sleep, your God, and early this morning you touched us with the finger of love and clothed us in our right mind and started us on another day's journey. And for that, God, we say thank you. God, we thank you now for the life of Lewis, dear God. For 62 years, God, how you blessed him to be among us, dear God. And Father, we say thank you. But God, I'm asking now just to breathe upon this family now, his siblings and nieces and nephews, dear God. Breathe on them, Father, your joy, your peace, and your happiness, dear God. And Lord, we thank you for what you're about to do, God. But Lord, we ask you, your Father, just to have thy way, God. Take me out of self, Father, and use me to your glory. But Lord, we thank you for this day, a beautiful day, God, a day that you have made. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Our Old Testament. Scripture comes from the book of Isaiah in the 40th chapter, beginning with verse 27. And it reads, Has thou not, has thou, why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God the Lord, the creators of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, and neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even you shall faint and be weary, and young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Our New Testament scripture comes from the book of John in the 14th chapter. And it reads, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. And whether I go, he know, and the way he know. 
Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God's word for God's people. Amen. Amen. Well, now we have down to the part. If anybody would like to give reflections of Lewis, we ask you to limit to the family of two minutes. If you would like to come now, anyone in Lewis Mark? I just want to say, uh, everybody in the family right here, Lewis been with all of us and didn't turn his back on us. If he had it, he got it. If it was needed, we gave him. And all of us going to miss him. And he's the best uncle. Yeah. And I don't have it. Yeah. I'm going to miss him, but I know I'm going to join him later. All of us going to pay this price right here. You know, that's all I got to say. Ain't, ain't, ain't too much more to say. That's yeah, he, that's he one of the greatest uncles. That's all of us in our head. He took care of, he take care of most of all our kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did a lot of stuff for all of us. Yeah. Never said yeah. no. I ain't good at giving speeches. So I ain't going to yeah, say no more. We're going to miss him. No, sir. Now on no, we sir. leave him. No, sir. All right. Thank God for those remarks. I just want to say that Lewis that I know was kind and gentle, always had a smile. I remember, I don't know who stayed in Heritage Square, but that's when I first came to know him. Who was, who was, who was, it was a apartment, he was always there. Yeah, he was always at the apartment. And whenever I went over to um, my aunt's house, he was always there and always outside somewhere, just being nice, just helping other people with their children. Just being Lewis. Yes. Always, and he was shy. Because you could say something to him and Lewis would just smile and look off. But I just thank God for the friendship. Amen. Because yeah. it's not many times that we find people that will just genuinely love you. Yeah. No matter who you are, what you do, they just love you. And if he could help you, and I know I see him see about his family and everything. Because I know when you see me, Dot, you saw Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. And we just thank God for both of them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Today I would like for you to turn me to the book of the Songs of Solomon. And we're going to read from Songs of Solomon, the second chapter, verse 4. And he brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. Amen. And then we will go to the 14th chapter of John. And that second verse, it says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Amen. Amen. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain, let it rain, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. I feel the rain, oh, I feel the rain, oh, I feel the rain, it's raining, open the flood. 
gates of heaven let it rain let it rain it's raining Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Open the floodgates of heaven and let it rain. Let it rain. Amen. Open the floodgates of heaven. If I could use for a topic today, it would be my new home. We find in in the book of second chapter of Songs of Solomon that Solomon was imagining what heaven would be like. When we understand heaven. We understand and have the thoughts of our God, but God loves us, and he's just intimately preparing a place for each and every one of us. We have a banquet table that God already has set for each and every one of us. It's a table that has good food. And if you've ever said yes to Christ, you have experienced his invitation to come to him. Because see, when you experience God telling you to come Unto him, he that are heavy laden, burdened down. When you come to God, he is already inviting you to become a part of his fellowship. But see, when God created each and every one of us, he created us for fellowship with him. And he says he's going now, he has sent his very best that he had, which was Jesus, to share his love with each and every one of us. And see, as we spend time with God, we will understand his ways and how he does things. Because he tells us in his word in Hebrews 9, 27, it's appointed unto man wants to die. And we're all going to die at one point in time in this walk of life. We will die. But God wants us to have a relationship with him that we'll be able to be in heaven. And see, I'm not worried about Lewis because, see, Lewis had a love for people. And in order to get to heaven, you got to love thy neighbor as thyself. And I knew Lewis loved God because when he would see him, he had the personality that I've seen that Jesus would have, that he could talk to and be anybody. And see, God loves us no matter what we do or how we act. God just loves us. But I want you to know today, as we draw nearer and closer to our death day, because every day that we get up is a day closer to death. And we must realize that we too must walk this way. But in order to get to heaven, we're going to have to be born again. And see, that's what he's telling Jesus, was telling his disciples. He said, now I got to go away. And prepare a place for you. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. And I imagine Lewis' room going to be real big, y'all. Because, see, in that room, in that mansion, see, Lewis loved everybody. And he's going to have a big room waiting for him. One that when we get there, we all can fellowship. And I imagine when we get there, if you could just have a little walk with me and get a glimpse of glory. Because, see, over in Corinthians, it also tells us that Eyes haven't seen or ears heard what the Son of Man has in store for each and every one of us. And see, up there in heaven, we're going to have a good time. We'll be able to sit down at that welcome table and feast on milk and honey and the sweet treats that Jesus has for us. But we'll be able to tell everybody how I made it over, how we made it to heaven. And we'll have on our robes and our starry crowns, and we'll be able to sit down all together and feast. And that's going to be good news for everybody. And see, even in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, it says that he got a new body. But see, we can't take these old bodies and go to heaven. We're going to have to be born again, and we're going to have to put on a new garment. Because see, where all the suffering and hurt that we have now in this old body is going to be dissolved one day. But oh, one day when we get to heaven, everything, we're going to have our own limbs and our hearts going to be right. And we're going to be able to sit down and fellowship and talk to God and just have an intimate relationship. But God wants some of you right now just to talk to him, just to be able to tell him every day that when you get ready to see him face to face, it won't be a surprise to you because see, you already got a relationship while you're on earth with God. 
And I just want y'all to know that when you have a relationship with God, while you're here on earth, God says the earth is his. He belongs, everything belongs to him. All of us in here, we are God's property. God owns the bank, the housing market, the jobs. God owns everything. And when you give your heart to Christ, when you say, Lord, save me, and God save you, oh, he won't keep nothing from you. Troubles may come, but God will be right there in the midst of the storm with you. When death comes, when you don't even understand, he'll rock you in the wee hours of the night. He'll let you know everything's going to be all right. That's the God I'm talking about. The one that no matter when people are plotting to hurt you, thinking of things that they want to do to you behind your back, when you serve and trust God and just talk to him on a daily basis, he won't let nobody bother you. He'll keep your enemies at bay and even bring them in his back to be your footstool. That's the God I'm talking about. So he does want each and every one of y'all. If you love Uncle Lewis this day, you ought to ask God to save your soul. Because I knew Uncle Lewis loved his nieces and nephews, his siblings. He loved you guys. Because if he didn't, he didn't have to do what he did for each and every one of us. He didn't have to show love, but it was a, that was a part that God was showing you, that he have angels here on earth. But I just want you to know today, family, that you must be born again. You got to believe that Jesus died on that old rugged cross. And early one Sunday morning, he rode with all power in his hand. That no matter whatever you're going through, when you call on the name of Jesus, he will make it all right. But just think about the goodness what Solomon was talking about when I get to heaven. Be no more trouble, no more crying. All the troubles of the world will be over. We'll be able to sit down at the welcome table. See all our loved ones that's gone on before us. Remember, we're going to have on a starry crown and a long white robe. And we'll be able to tell God how we made it over. We'll see all of our loved ones one day. So today, family, as you continually go through this bereavement, I know some of you may still be going through and bereave and bereavement of Miss Dot. But I want you to know now that they're together now. And we must prepare to meet them one day. Because God says he's prepared this place for us. Now, if you don't want to go to heaven, there's a place called hell. And I don't think you're going to have too much fun down there. But just think about the goodness of Jesus and how good he's been to you down through the years. Because I know some of us have had near-death experiences. We've been in car wrecks and different things in life, but God still made a way for us to be here today. But I'm asking you, family, just let your imagination think of the goodness of Jesus and how he's prepared for your mansion up in heaven. A place with no more sickness, no more sorrow, no more heartaches. Nothing but joy, peace, and happiness. Be laughter all through God's house. And oh, what a time we have. You know, they used to say, oh, when I get to heaven, won't it be grand? See all our loved ones, because we too will pass this way. But I want you to spend time with God. Speak to him on a daily basis in the morning when you get up. Just tell God hello and thank you. For another day sometimes you can even ask God what we're going to do today family here let you know what's outlined for you he'll walk with you he just wants to be your friend and all of us need a good friend in these day and times amen but trust God as we go through continue throughout this year trust God have faith in God knowing that no matter what I'm going through God will see me through but just know that in your new home, there's a banquet table for God already has prepared for us. But we'll feast on milk and honey and shout our troubles over. Amen. And we just thank God today for you, family. Continue to ask God to just be with you. Father God, it's again we come now saying thank you. Lord, we ask you just to bless the Cooper family. Dear God, bless them in a mighty way, Father. You knew that we would be here today, God. And Lord, we said thank you. But well, God, in the days and months ahead, when we began to miss Lewis, God, I'm asking you just to breathe on him a fresh anointing. Just to let him know, God, that you are God all by yourself. There's nothing too hard that you can't fix it, God. And Lord, we said thank you. But save somebody's soul today, God. 
somebody needs you, dear God, and down in the valley, you said you'll be our lily of the valley. And Father, we need you now. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I shall wear a crown. I shall wear a crown. When it's all over, yeah. shall see his face I shall see his face when it's all over yeah when all over I'm going to put on my robe and tell the story how I made it over when I get home Amen. I shall wear a crown. Amen. 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 <laughs> to the Cooper family, we would like to thank you for entrusting your loved one with the prayer. got a poem here for Mr. Robert Cooper and the title of the poem, God's Eternal Plans. God give us the gift of life to cherish from our birth, to give us family, friends, and loved ones. To share our days on earth, he watches over us with loving care and takes us all by his hand. He bless us with joy and hope, gently guide in the life we plan. Then when our days on earth are done, he called us to his side. Where we can live with him eternally and where peace and love abide. While we may not understand it all, God will heal and comfort and put loving hearts at rest. For he will know in all his wisdom, God is all wise and he knows what's best. In this in honor of Mr. Robert L. Cooper from the Pratt Human Home. May God have a blessing on each one of you.